Hi. Now, if you watched the previous video in this series and you're on my website, you'll know that we talked about this particular type of integral where we've got in the denominator some function of x, f of x, and then in the numerator we've got the first differential of f of x. And if you integrate that with respect to x, you end up with the result natural log of the mod of f of x plus some constant c. And also I showed you that if you had a constant a, say, out the front of the integral, then that constant a was multiplied with the natural log of the mod of f of x. So if you're unsure of this particular result, do go back and check that previous video. Okay, so what I've got here is a set of examples that work with this idea. So you might like to pause the video at this stage and have a go at them. And then when you come back, I'm going to take you slowly through the work solutions, but you might want to fast forward just to check out your results. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. So let's take this first one here. So in the fraction here, we've got in the denominator x. If we differentiate that with respect to x, we're just going to get 1. But I can see that 3 is a multiple of the 1, and it's a constant. So what I can do then is just take that 3 out the front of the integral, and I've got 1 over x, okay, with respect to x, just to integrate that. And if I do that, then I now know that I'm going to get 3 times the natural log of the modulus of that f of x there, which is just simply x. And then we got plus the constant c. Okay, looking at this second one, I notice that when I differentiate the denominator here, I'm just going to get 4, and that's in the numerator. So this is a very straightforward one. It's just going to be the natural log then of the modulus of that denominator, 4x minus 3. And then we've got the constant of integration, c. Moving on to number 3. Now with this one, when I differentiate the denominator here, I get 2x but I can see that I can multiply the 2 of 2x up to a 6 to get the 6x by multiplying it by a constant. And that's okay. It's going to be a natural log type. So I need to make an adjustment here though. So what I'd like to see in the numerator is 2x all over then in the denominator x squared plus 5. And we'll be integrating that with respect to x. But I haven't got a 2 here, I've got a 6. So what I can do is just multiply it by the constant 3. And so what I end up with now is this is equal to 3 times the natural log of the modulus of x squared plus 5, plus a constant of integration c. Now with this one, I don't really need to write a modulus sign in because for any value of x, positive or negative, this term here, because I'm squaring it, is going to be positive and adding it to another positive value is guaranteed to be positive. So I'm not going to write the modulus sign in, I'm just going to write brackets there. So if I make a note of that, you can see that the modulus sign is not needed as x squared plus 5 is always going to be greater than 0, a positive result. So moving on to number 4 now. When I differentiate the denominator here, 2x cubed minus 1, I get 6x squared. Not 8x squared, but nonetheless it is a constant multiplied by x squared. So I can see that with an adjustment, by multiplying by a constant, I can make this into the required integral. So if I put 6x squared on the top, because I want that when I differentiate the denominator, 2x cubed minus 1, integrating that with respect to x. Okay, so what do I need to multiply the 6 by to get the 8? Well, 
what I would do here is just put an 8 out the front, but divide out that 6, 8 6. That cancels down, by the way, to 4 thirds. So I'm going to change that in the next line to equaling 4 thirds. 4 thirds then multiplied by the natural log of the modulus of that denominator. And I have to write a modulus sign around this one because I've got x cubed. If x was a negative number, then clearly this term would be negative. Take away another one, it's going to stay negative. So a modulus sign is definitely needed there. OK, moving on to number 5 here. I notice that if I differentiate the denominator, x squared plus 6x minus 3, I get 2x plus 6. And that is double the x plus 3. So I can easily make an adjustment for that constant. If I just write the integral here and write 2x plus 6 doubling the x plus 3, and I put that all over the denominator x squared plus 6x minus 3, I integrate all of that with respect to x. Now, because I doubled the x plus 3, if I multiply by a half, then a half of 2x plus 6 is going to drop me back to x plus 3. And so I now have the answer, one half of the natural log then of the modulus of x squared plus 6x minus 3. And then put in that constant of integration c. Now when it comes on to number 6, you might at first think this is not one of these types, but cot x is a fraction. It can be expressed as the fraction, the integral of cosine x, cos x there, all divided by sine of x. And now I see that by differentiating the denominator sine x, I get cosine x. So this is then directly the natural log of the modulus of sine of x. And again, plus that constant of integration c. OK, well that brings us now to the end of this video. And hopefully if you had a go at the questions, you got them all right. If not, at least you're able to see where you might have gone wrong. Well, thanks for watching and uh, maybe I'll have your company again in a later video if you ever want any support.